chasing kind of a miss on this truck and I replaced a ignition coil which didn't seem like it was doing anything and put a new one in and it seemed like it ran a little bit better but I noticed it. So I had one bad ignition coil, which I determined by unplugging them each at a time until one didn't seem to make any difference. Replaced that, but still had some kind of an issue going on. So I went ahead and got a compression checker and some uh, hydrocarbon coolant test kit, which I didn't have to use. I did a compression check, all the cylinders are good. So I went in and I did a resistance check on all the ignition coils. Well, I found one more coil that was out of specs, basically too low. They should be around five to 10 um, kilo ohms. And these were, both of the bad ones were about 3.5 or so. So the, when I had that number eight cylinder was still bad with a bad ignition coil, I was getting all kinds of weird popping noises stuff going on here way different now just a nice steady flow seems to be running nice and smooth the um, engine is nice and steady you no know, rocking and popping and doing weird things now what I'm hoping is that I can see a difference in the temperature because we're having trouble with the temperature at least a gauge saying that it was hotter than it should be but yet my temperature gauges and everything else all indicated it wasn't that hot so I don't know maybe it was a an issue with that coil or the coils because I had two bad coils we shall take a look and find out